Okay. So yeah, you see this dude. But yeah, it's like my it's like my pal too much wall. He this is probably like his first time coming back into um you know, the see the playing Smash 4. It's like we actually you know, both team today we got first uh, today in doubles. But it was definitely exciting for him. It's like it stroke his evil ego a little bit. I think this if he got that off, that was definitely gonna stroke his ego a little bit more. Um, because he went the evil he got like I think top two hundred and eighty or two hundred and forty or something like that. So he I was about to say, even though he didn't actually, you know, make it out of pools, he was still fine, fine content with that. He still gloats about that. Yeah, let's see. Uh, no, you can actually, you're actually allowed to go there, but like some people can, I believe, get free, um, you know, play, like, everything paid for them and stuff like that. They win certain uh, majors and whatnot. Alright, but on to another thing, I think back to the match here. Seems like um, too much Wong's actually take take it free handily so far. Let's see From what from what I can actually see so far, it seems like um, too much Wong is playing his re regular playstyle. It's like kind of aggressive it's like kind of an aggressive playstyle that he always had had ever since I met him. It's like but Team 4 is definitely not going to allow him to actually just take a huge lead like this. All he just needs is just one good back throw on this percentage. Because I thought he was looking for it, just staying on that platform, but... Uh, Martin decided to actually, or too much Wong decided to actually stay away from there. He got the back air and just secured the stock like that. Oh, no, uh, come on, Martin. Yeah, I get that balloon topping. Like, you know... I know I'm not always one to actually say that because I don't pop them as much as I used to. See? That's what happens. You will pop balloon. You pay for it with a stock. <laughs> That's true. Oh, good. Good absorption right there. I can't... Oh, I believe the name of that attack is PSI Magnet. So good magnet right there. Use that to get back some health. That's probably what I'm going to see every once in a while to negate Zero Suit Samus using Paralyzer Gun, at least charging it. So that way she's not able to just freely get um, big hits off of that. Always. I thought I was going to gamb gamble it right there with a um, BK Flash. I think something that may help him out a little bit more. Oh, I think he's starting to catch on to that every time he spot dodges or something like that. He'll try to go for forward smashes. That is a stock, actually, yep. As well as a one good PK fire. we we'll just lead straight into it. So, game one, we go into TM4. So I'll say I would like to call him either cold mi call minded or um, whirlwind, but I still can't remember which TM he's trying to represent off. He just decided to choose it without thinking of which either one. So let's see. Game two. Oh, I thought I was going to go to uh, We Fit Studio because that's my favorite Omega with Super Hoops playing on it. What's your favorite Omega, actually? If you have to choose one. I have a favorite Omega. Maybe Duck Hunt. I like this. Wait, is it flat sides on them? For is it what? Hunts? For Duck Hunts, you got flat sides on it and Omega? Yep, it's like uh, that one, just like a few other Omegas, or like a few other stages, it's like it's all just 2D. It's like for all the characters. Yeah, I got a pal named uh, Jeezy who actually does not like that. So anytime that I go to Omega, another one I like, Omega Pac Land, and lots of music on there. He just looks at me with just, with just the most ridiculous face. He's like, like, did we really have to go here? All of, out of all the Omegas. Yes, yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go, back to the match. So far it's looking like uh, TF4's counterpick is actually paying off for him. He's starting to stick. He's starting to actually pressure him a lot more, get up in, get up in his face. 
and just make sure that it seriously can't like get too many things started. It's gonna have to be careful with it's like I was just about to say, it's gonna have to be careful because like getting too close like that with seriously was like she needs grabs to actually Ooh. Fine fish, I was just gonna say he needs to use that a little more and then there it was. Yep, that flip that flip kick definitely one thing to never overlook. Gotta be a little harder to use on this field, probably, so he's not using that as much. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, as we just spoke, maybe by actually hear us, I doubt it. <laughs> without going back real there, without actually even up the game, it's like 33%, it's not too much for this. He's like, just a PK fire, and then like, a down throw, and then like, fair chain, and that'll just be it for him. Pretty simple. This is actually really fast. I mean, you never would have thought that this would be a good counter base. But yeah, he's he's deceptively fast for uh, how he is. I mean, well, hey, he's a kid. He's got like you know so much time that it's like you know be the next track star or something like that. He could be Sandy for all we know if he grows up. That's actually a good uh, thunderbolt right there. So getting away from zero suit. Yep. It's like Delta status. She was going to actually get. Possibly punish off that so decide to actually fall back. Ooh. It's just just about to say that'll be the prime time to start looking for either back airs or decide to actually just go grab and just do a solo up air for zero suit because that's look like kill percentage. That kid going going and flying away. Yep. Maybe off to the next uh, track and field event. We'll see. So let's see here, it's tied up one and one. Hey, feel free man, feel free. Nelly, yes, yes, nap on Nelly, taking a little break, we got Phil Jones jumping in. <laughs> Alright, nice talk with you man. Alright, you too man. Thank you sir. Alright, good You'll be the Nelly. What's going on, Yoshi? Well, not too much. You know, just chilling right here, commentating. How about yourself, Dev? I just got done, uh, well, not just got done playing, but played a little bit. Did okay today. Got, got one you. win, better than my usual. So. <laughs> hey, always strive to do better. That's right? what I say. Moving on up in that PR. One win at a time each week. Right. <laughs> so let's see here. This is kind of interesting to kind of pick since, uh, for too much wall. Because I think for both these characters, this is probably their least, like this is probably like their least favorite stage. It's yeah, like who, Zero Suit, who she actually just picked still, this? Huh? Who actually picked this? Uh, Barda did. Really? Yeah. It's like the thing about it is, uh, for Des, he, I don't want to say like he has too big of issues like landing, but at the same time, it's like he can excel on platforms a lot more. Super than well. On the stage. Well, and being so floating and stuff, like you said, he's got a little bit of a problem with coming back down. Especially with a faster character that can capitalize on him missing an aerial or... Oh! Right. And... Oh, he wanted it. Yeah, definitely, I can understand that. It's like in a Zero Suit, it's like, she can still do her regular gameplay and stuff like that, but the thing about it is that um, she excels a lot, just like that excels a lot more on platforms. Mm -hmm. She can reset some of those uh, aerial combos. Ooh! And he'll take the first stock with it. The fire back, though, that's the TM4 special there. Yep. The, the main maneuver of, I think, most mess, mess players. Yeah, that definitely rack, that definitely gets a good KO. I mean, a good uh, stock off for them. Oh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you can use that fire under grab to rack up a little bit of damage, you know, and I like, like to run aerial combos out of that. But even it's a little predictable if you can predict their DI. You know, you can... Ooh! Pulling them back, not too much extra, extra credit on them there. Yeah. I mean, like, you can only get so, mu only get so much on certain characters, especially with, like, being able to confirm off grabs like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, like, honestly, you'll see the game right there. It's like, Zero Suit's trying to look, try to look into, like, getting a little bit more percentage there to take this lead. Ness, Ness come to counter back, though. Oh, I think you're going for a, a dash attack there. Just Martin's reading that grab. Yeah. Oh, that one back to actually. Well, I was about to say back to neutral, but then um, <laughs> Marta actually decided to set it off. Uh, Marta's too much long, by the way, folks. Yeah. Too much long uh, has been on hi hiatus for quite a while. 
Yep, he's been playing a lot more uh, Street Fighter V after his uh, 280th placing at Evo. He thought, eh, it's kind of finishing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Which, 280th at Evo, that's nothing to sneeze at, you know. Oh, True. and here. Oh. oh! It almost looked like he was going to lay off of that. Yeah. I'm surprised Martin let him grab him, you know. I was really expecting a, uh, like a down dodge, as I call it.